Hey guys, I hope you're all having a great week. Let me know in the comments box down below if you've been baking anything nice this week or if you got up to anything fun as I'd love to hear about it. But today I'm going to show you how to make homemade toffee crisp. If you've never heard of toffee crisp, it's a chocolate bar from Nestle. It is absolutely delicious. I had this all the time growing up. It's a chocolate rice crispy bar with caramel on top and it's covered in chocolate and this really isn't hard to make at all and as you all loved my homemade crunchy at the end of last year I thought I'd show you how to make another chocolate bar so in a saucepan I'm going to start by melting some butter in with that I'm going to be adding some sliced up Mars bar now I know it sounds weird Mars bar when we're making toffee crisp but the caramel and the nougat in the Mars bar is going to make it really nice and chewy you want to let that slowly melt together. At first it'll look like nothing's happening, but it will eventually. Just give it some time. Don't overcook it though, as it will start to separate. If it does start splitting, grab a whisk and give it a good mix together. It should start coming back together. My mixture is smooth, it's gooey, it's glossy, it's done. So I'm going to start adding some Rice Krispies in. I'll add about a small bowl at a time and keep mixing until I can't add any more Rice Krispies. I like to keep my pan over the heat while I add in the Rice Krispies. It makes it a lot easier to mix them in. But I've turned it down to very low as you don't want to burn the chocolate. For my toffee crisp shape, I'm going to scoop some of the Rice Krispies onto my baking tray and so I don't have to get my hands too dirty, I'm then going to take a piece of baking paper and press it round into a sausage salami shape. Now that I'm happy with my shape, I'm going to take my sharp knife and cut those into some smaller bars. You can make these as big or as small as you would like. Just kneading those out a bit and maybe soften the edges and then they can go onto a baking tray lined with some baking paper. Keeping it super simple for the toffee layer. You can make caramel at home, but we don't all have time for that. So I'm using some shop-bought dairy caramels, taking them out of their wrapper. I'm going to add about a tablespoon of milk to begin with. And I'm gonna pop these in the microwave for 30 second bursts. Once it's out of the microwave, it's gonna be very hot and pretty runny. So you wanna let that cool down for a bit first and thicken up before pouring on top of your toffee crisp. Because these are homemade, I don't mind if the toffee drips down to the side. It'll just add more deliciousness to my chocolate bar. Before covering these in milk chocolate, I'm gonna let them firm up in the fridge. That won't take long at all, so I can get going with melting my chocolate. Now that my toffee crisps have firmed up nicely, it's time to get dipping into my melted chocolate. I've let that cool a bit though, so it doesn't melt the caramel on top. Now I'm going to use this, I found this in my cupboard. Uh, I thought it'd be nice to put the toffee crisp on top and the chocolate would seep through. But if you don't have one of these, you can just use a fork or a skewer. Just tap off all of the excess chocolate, drag it along the side, and then place that onto a cooling rack. I put some baking paper underneath, just in case any of that excess chocolate drops down. Once you've covered all of your chocolate bars, I like to place mine in the fridge to set. You can leave them at room temperature, it'll be slightly softer and take a bit longer, but it'll still be absolutely delicious. So that is how you make my homemade toffee crisp bars. Easy.